Hi guys, I'm Nathan, the owner of Toolmakers Recording Studio. Uh, about a year ago I moved into the studio and I started documenting the whole build process and loads of time lapse and stuff like that, showing basically every little detail of the build. They, uh, they were really popular and people ask me all the time why I stopped doing video stuff and it was basically because I stopped, I stopped the build and the, the whole video was documenting the build process. Um, but this month I've decided to kind of have this camera following me around the whole time um, to film me doing behind the scenes studio stuff, me recording bands, me mixing bands, me doing live sound engineering and also some personal stuff, uh, working with my girlfriend's business and things like that. And the idea is just to do um, just to do a video blog, just documenting everything and uh, hopefully it'll capture something cool. So that's where Toolmakers TV has come from and I will be putting one of these out every month. Feel free to comment and tell me what you like about it, tell me what you dislike about it. I'd love to hear your feedback and stuff I can change to make it better. Hit subscribe on YouTube down here and you should see one of these pop up every month. I'll probably just be hanging about like filming with this all day, so if you want to shout, shout random bollocks in there, feel free. Gone for my tube mics and overheads today, uh, 57 on snare and on the rack tom, D112 on the kick drum, and then I've got um, I've got a kick drum mic on the floor tom, uh, with DI in the bass and then running through the cab with the D112 on it. Soulfire Saints in the studio this weekend. Uh, this is day two. We got most of the drums done yesterday, so we kind of packed that down a little bit. So we're on to the guitar now. We're probably going to get four, four tracks done with vocal as well, but we'll uh, see how much we get done and then they'll be back in for finish off the others. We're running both guitar amps at the same time, uh, both with the tube mic on and both with the SM57. <laughs> Just finishing up the first day, editing the Soulfire Saints tracks. Uh, I've had them in all weekend, so I've spent most of today getting them edited, um, set up in a mix file, so they'll be ready for mixing first thing in the morning. Welcome to uh, X's Eskill TV with Jerome, your host, featuring the cameraman, Nathan Bailey. So I'm just finishing up the Soulfire Saints mix. Where are we going today? Let's do it. Yeah, we do it. Got one of the guys from Brave and Fiction coming in. They come through, uh, did an EP with them towards the end of last month. Uh, they've got a few changes, it's quite complicated, so they're just coming in, 
give me a few notes, uh, I'm going to make the change from the EP and hopefully uh, get finished up on it, so we'll see how that goes. Finishing up at the Tollmakers for the day. Uh, tons of editing done, I've got like a uh, rainbow of fiction mix changes. Say hello, Jack Galvin. Hiya. It's fucking pickle, mate! Alright, fam! But there are some owls talk in the studio today, aka Neil and James Hardreeves. Uh, on the setup, I've got the um, SC Electronic Tube mic set up. I'm then running the mics through uh, my hairball audio. Three amps, which are the, the, basically the clone of Sam Green's wall, really nice. And then they're just going straight into the uh, straight to the max of the sapphire. So um, it's a pretty uh, nice warm vocal chain. Gonna be able to go out of Joe Green doing the jump cover the studio. So you'll be seeing that very shortly. Just posted on social media that this week I'll be releasing the Joe Green drum cover. Proper excited about. So I think that's going out on it's Monday today. I think that's gonna go out on Wednesday. So hopefully that's been really cool. People are gonna really like it. It sounds amazing. It looks really cool. It's obviously Joe Green as well. Uh, he runs Black Lantern Drumming. There's also Milburn, Dead Sons, Revving the Makers as well, so he's a, he's a really cool guy as well. So Just released this uh, Joe Green drum cover. If you haven't already seen it, I'll, uh, I'll link it up in the description. So check it out. Alright mate. You right? Are you up? I'm low. Listen, baby. Hiya, Jack. You right? Did you get up? I'm up. Wait. What time did you finish work last night? Right. Oh, four, 20 to 5. 20 to 5? Yeah. <laughs> setting up a poker dodge. They're coming in to do a single today. So, just setting up the. Uh, the drum stuff and set it up for um, set it up for the bass the guitarist being here jamming with the uh, drummer as well. said after our weekend in Plymouth you wouldn't do this anymore. After the mix change a couple of weeks ago from Brave Little Fiction, they decided they wanted to actually redo one of the vocals, so uh, Mel, she's coming in today, I'm gonna get her on the vocal mic and uh, just redo that track. I'm running the uh, exact same setup as I did before. Uh, when they last came, so we've got the uh, SE Electronics tube mic. Uh, it's not really nice and warm in her voice, so. Uh, I've also got a couple of room mics up, so just capture them into the room in here. <laughs> My 
my go-to kit set up at the minute. 57 on all the toms and snare, kick drum mic on the floor tom, and my uh, tube mics and the pebs. I've got this really cool kind of grungy, lo-fi, trashy band in this weekend, and it's uh, just the end of day one, it sounds really cool. We recorded drums most of the day, and uh, we've got a bit of bass down as well. Uh, day two with this new band, um, they ain't got a name at the minute, so uh, got all drums done, gonna finish bass today and get some guitar. Kind of cool setup in here, I've got the, I'm DIing the bassist in the control room, and then we're just running through my amp, re it through, and put it through a mic. The bassist tone's really fuzzy, so he's running his big muff, and as you can see the volume's on full, it's just crazy, like overdriven, really fuzzy. And then the single coming out of there is obviously really hot. So then we're DIing that into my Hairball Audio Pre. And we're driving that like crazy. Like there's so much saturation coming from that. And then that's also going through the mic out there and back into my other Hairball Audio Pre. So there's like, it's really fat tone. It's really distorted, really saturated. And it sounds great in the mix. Electronic sounds really cool, it's really really crisp. So the 57 on, and also the two mic for a bit of roundness. I'm not using the vocal shield today, just so the vocal gets more out into the room. Just finished recording with the uh, unnamed top secret band. They've been in for three days and we've managed to get five tracks done. Did some really cool stuff with the uh, mics and the drums, and then when we got to guitar and bass really saturated the preamps, so really enjoyed uh, experimenting with that and it's been a really good weekend. So first thing tomorrow, makes in time. So today is our one year anniversary since we moved into this studio. It didn't look much like a studio when we moved in, I'll flick up a picture, I feel like this is like the after and this is the before. So you can see we're putting a lot of work. I did the majority of myself. I had some help from home, a few people, like a few close people around me who give me help and support and stuff like that. So, yep, one year in the studio. It's been a really good year, but with some amazing musicians. And I just can't wait for this next year to come. And hopefully it'll just keep getting better and better. Tomorrow we are going to announce this video blog. Like, no one knows. I've been shooting all month. Uh, and no one knows I've been shooting it, apart from a few people who have ended up on the film. Then next week, around the same time that this goes out, I'll be announcing that Steel City Sessions are getting renamed, they're going to be called Toolmakers Live, which is then going to kind of interact a little bit with the Toolmakers TV. Uh, if you sign up to our newsletter, uh, you can find out how to do that on our Facebook. I'll be offering out a way for people who want to record acoustic tracks uh, and can be part of the Toolmakers TV and also be part of the Toolmakers Live. So watch out for that. <laughs>